L18 pulling uh, four of eight from three point range. It's been a while since you've seen shots go down like that. Just how big was it to see the first one go down and kind of build on it? Uh, it was, I mean, it carried my momentum. You know, I've been, everybody knows I've been struggling a little bit from behind the arc, but it was good to see. My teammates always kept encouraging me. My coaches kept encouraging me, and it just finally went down tonight. Al, with um, two conference losses already, I guess what kind of allows you to keep a calm mindset through that adversity and, and come up big today? Because you can't get down because we lost two in a row. We had to get the third one. We had to get the next one. We got to have a next game mentality. We got to get this one. We want to get the next one. We can't hang our hat on if we lose or win. We got to make sure we're ready for the next game that's coming. Yeah, obviously it was a it was a broken play, and um, really I just saw an opening, and um, I feel like I just had to make a shot for my team, and um, I just delivered it. Zach, Kobe handled the last couple of days coming off the bench and adjusting to that role, and then obviously being called upon in a big spot in overtime to come up with a big shot. Um, I mean, I, I'll do whatever it takes uh, to win. So, I mean, coming off the bench, starting, whatever. So, uh, really, my teammates really just gave me confidence um, to just keep playing aggressive and just play team ball. So, um, really, I'm just going to keep playing aggressive, uh, keep getting after it in practice, keep doing my role. Rob, I guess kind of turning it in the other direction, what were you seeing defensively? I think you had maybe three blocks. You obviously had a couple really crucial there at the end of regulation and then overtime. Just kind of how were you adjusting, I guess, to, to what you were being required to do coverage-wise defensively? Yeah, um, I mean, at the end, you saw how uh, me and Al were going, like, offense, defense. So, uh, I mean, coaches really just told me to come in and uh, do my job and uh, get, get stops. And in the game, I had a couple big plays, and that's what I did. Jeff? Yeah, Rob, just your thoughts on the – take us through the last play of regulation – the last play over time, just what did you see? What did you feel you were able to do on those plays? The, when, when you when you guys were on defense, obviously. Uh, really, we just wanted to help each other. Um, I mean, we had the pack line defense, obviously. Um, it was a what was it? I think it was a late switch with Trace, and um, he wedged it. And I had to just just jump over and I walled up. You know, he missed a shot, and, uh, and then they rebounded and he missed other shots. So that's it, really. Kevin. Kevin, did you have a question? Yeah, JD, I asked it earlier. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, Caleb. About halfway through the second half, Rob, you had a drill penetration where you hit Al in the corner for a three. And it kind of seemed like it was the first time in a couple games that both you guys were, like, smiling and happy and everything. Can you just talk through what it's like just kind of getting that pressure off you and just playing freely throughout the second half? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's huge. Obviously, um, I haven't been playing well. And um, just hitting that three is really big. I feel like we were on a, a big run there. I think we went up 66 to 54 then. So uh, him hitting that three was, was really big for us. And um, we just had to lock in after that. We're going to go Rab Johns and then Dustin to finish. Yeah, hey, Rob, I was just curious. When, when you come trying to get yourself get, get going, does it come faster offensively or defensively? Which one gets a guy back in the groove better? Uh, I really think defensively. Um, I feel like once I'm locking up, uh, getting steals, getting blocks like I did tonight, yeah, it translates. So defense to offense, that's when we're at our best, running in transition um, and getting guys open. So I feel like once I start locking up and uh, getting steals and blocks, like I said, uh, that's when I once I get rolling. Justin, last question. Yeah, thanks. Uh, for both of you guys, I mean, um, it seemed like just as a team, you guys were just 
really trying to be aggressive as, as far as taking the ball to the rim, but just how much was that a point of emphasis going into this one, just trying to uh, attack that way and try to score in the paint? Um, it was more of just making reads. You know, getting to the basket was one of the ones that was working for us tonight, but we were making the plays to kick out for three or hitting inside to trace a race. So we were just reading off what they were doing defensively and making plays. Yeah, I mean, what Al said, uh, we know they like to deny on the wings, so we knew the lane was going to be a lot more open. So we just we just stayed aggressive, and I got to the paint, and we just did our job. All right, guys, thank you. Go ahead and line up for uh, questions.